I was stressing bad. You can ask my grandmother, my mother. Like every day, I'm, Mama, what should I do? Granny, what should I do? I don't know. I'm lost. Like, I've never been like this before. Like, this is, an, this is an, I'm not this type of person. So, like, to go back and forth, I'm literally in my room, laying in the dark, just thinking about this the whole night. I put my phone, I turned my phone off for two days straight, just literally just thinking about this. I went to dream, went to sleep dreaming about this, like, which one should I go to? And at the end of the day, when I prayed and I talked to God, it just gave me this gut feeling that I'm most comfortable with it, and I'm, I'm happy where I'm at now. Were they always neck and neck, Panama, or was there did Texas have a lead early on, or LSU have a lead? Early? I'm not even gonna lie to you. Texas had a lead on it. Texas did. I mean, at the end of the day, I tell you where I, I'm. I, I just feel more comfortable there at LSU, and I trust Coach O, Coach Jenkins, Coach Aranda, and they know what they're doing, obviously from the past. So we, we're gonna get that done. When did it change? When did LSU catch up and close the gap, and you started kind of wavering and deciding between the two? Um, definitely on an official visit, I gotta say. I mean, like I told you, I had so much fun there, but it really not just about fun. It's, they put me on so many things that many people don't know about. Everyone is comparing their education, but there's so many things that I know too many people that don't have a, just a serious degree that's making millions of dollars right now. So education is a very big thing, but at the same time, the people you know that can, you can meet at LSU, also at UT too, but the people you know can help you get to where you want to get. What was it about LSU that, that pushed them over the hump? I mean, you mentioned Coach O. Was there anything else? I mean, what was kind of the deciding thing that kind of pushed them over the edge for you? I told you, I mean, it's, it felt comfortable, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just talking with them and just honestly, just at the end of the day, I mean, you know, you can separate from recruiting talk and when they're being honest. So, I mean, just talking with them, just it's just that gut feeling. That I like Coach like Coach O, Coach Aranda, Coach Jenkins, Coach Johnson, just, it's just that feeling. And they players make me feel like home, so that's where I'm going. Uh, I mean, I played a lot because they took a chance on me. I mean, we talking about SEC, one of the top notch programs. They took my first offer without playing the football. But I mean, that, I didn't put that into you know factor as in why I went to them though. Because at the end of the day, you got to make decision what's best for you and not what's best for everyone else. And then the success that R and P's been having, and I know that's a role that they've been looking at you for. Did that play a big part in it? Yeah, definitely. Like I said, I mean, they know what they're doing. I was just from the past guys. I mean, the program is having a lot of success. They put the most people in the NFL so far especially when we're talking about top first rounders. I think behind Florida, I believe. But other than that, I mean, they know what they're doing, so they're going to get the job done. All right, well, I know you got to go to the SEC and play defense in touch with the conference. We're talking about Death Valley. It's live there, man. I want to be a part of the team that actually beats Bama, and we know, so they won't have to keep on, honestly, getting every every year as the conference champions. So I want to be a part of that, and we're going to make it done. We're going to get it done. Is there anything uh, Texas could have done better in the recruitment? Anything they could have done? Everything they did was great. I mean, I can't knock nothing against them. It's just like I said, it's the gut feeling. I mean, they had, they did nothing wrong. It's just I'm more comfortable there at LSU than I am at Texas. Uh, you got a teammate at LSU, a former North Shore teammate. Have you talked to him since you uh, announced it? Yeah, I have, but it's, it wasn't really just much of recruiting. We were just talking. He was just being honest with me, just saying that go where you feel is best and where you feel like you can be most successful at. And so that's what we talked about.